Okay, let's see if you can sing this one along with me. My baloney has a first name, it's O-S-C-A-R. My baloney has a second name, it's M-A-Y-E-R. Oh, I love to eat it every day, and if you ask me why, I'll say. Because Oscar Mayer has a way with B-O-L-O-G-N-A. It's National Baloney Day, everyone. Huzzah! I know I probably just horrifyingly dated myself, but don't care. If I have to have that song stuck in my head, so do you. Now, Oscar Mayer may have had a way with his B-O-L-O-G-N-A, but it's actually not the first people who created baloney. Its precursor, Mortadella, was born in Bologna, Italy, and was a delicacy in the 1400s. Now, it made its way to the U.S. via German immigrants, and it also morphed its way into the bologna that we know of today, and it also was renamed to bologna. Not Bologna, because that would make too much sense. We renamed it to Bologna. Of course, the Bologna we know it as today is known as something that is for poor people or low-income families. However, I would argue with that, and I would also challenge you to try a fried Bologna sandwich, because that is delicious. I've been making those things since I was a kid, and... But we're not going to focus on Oscar Mayer or American Bologna for today's travel inspiration. Instead, we're going to focus on Bologna, Italy. It is the capital of the Emilia-Romagna region. It is filled with medieval and Renaissance architecture. The Piazza Maggiore dates all the way back to the 1200s and is the heart of the city of Bologna. And where better to stay than the historic hotel, Hotel Orologio, known for its traditional Italian style. So... Enjoy today's travel inspiration to Bologna, Italy.